Today, we are going to discuss about a species called as Himalayan Ciro. Himalayan Ciro, its scientific name is Capricornis Sumatrensis Thar. Okay, so this Himalayan Ciro, it was in news recently. Why? Because there have been an unusual sight of this Himalayan Ciro in the Pidi Valley of Himajar Pradesh. Okay, so the Himalayan Ciro, it has been sighted for the first time in the Himalayan cold desert regions. Right, so that's why it was in news. Okay, in the second week of December 2020, this Himalayan Ciro was spotted in the Spiti Valley of Himalayan Pradesh. Okay, after some days, again it was spotted in the same region. Right, so this was the first recorded human sighting of the Ciro in the Himalayan Pradesh. Right, so this Ciro was already spotted in the state earlier also, but all of them were camera traps. So this was the first recorded human sighting. Now, what is this Ciro or the Capricornis Sumatrensis? It's a kind of Angulata animal. Angulata means a hoofed mammal. We know about the example for hoofed mammals, the angulata, right? So the examples like a deer, a tar species, then we know about the nilagiri tar, right? Then gods, okay, horses. These all are angulata category. That means the mammals which are having hoof. The hoofed mammals are called as angulata. Okay, so zero is a kind of angulata category. It's a medium-sized mammal which looks like the gods. Okay. So basically the Ciro is a hill forest dwelling species. It can be found in the hill forest. And these Ciro's are elusive animals. That means they are difficult to find out. So Ciro's are a kind of medium sized mammal which will be having a large head and they will be having a thick neck and short limbs will be there and long and mule like ears will be there. Okay. And they will be having a coat of dark hair. There are several species of Ciro's. Okay. Most of them are or all of them are mostly found in the Asia. Right. So, the Ciro or the Capricornis Somatrensis are well distributed in the hilly regions of the northeastern India. So, when we come to the India's case, we are having two species of Ciro's. Himalayan Ciro as well as the Red Ciro. So, when we consider this northeast India, two subspecies of Ciro's are found in this region. That means India is having two subspecies of Ciro's. Okay. So, first one will be Himalayan Ciro or its scientific name is Capricornis Somatrensis Thar or Capricornis Sumatrensis Jamraki. Okay, so that is Himalayan Ciro. And the second one is Red Ciro and that is called as Capricornis Sumatrensis Rubidus. Okay, so these are the two subspecies found in northeastern region. So the first one that means Himalayan Ciro or the Jamraki, it is found on the northern bank of the Brahmotra river. And whereas the second one that means Rubidus or the Red Ciro, it is found on the southern bank of the Brahmotra. So we know that on the southward of Brahmotra we are having uh, barile range, right? So they are found in the barile ranges. Okay. Now the news was, or the unusual sighting was related to the Himalayan Ciro. So let's discuss about the Himalayan Ciro. So the Himalayan Ciro, or the Capricornis Sumatrensis star, they are restricted to Himalayan region. Taxonomically, this Himalayan Ciro is a subspecies of the mainland Ciro. That means Capricornis Sumatrensis. So Capricornis Sumatrensis is the mainland Ciro, and Himalayan Ciro is the subspecies of this mainland zero and these Himalayan zeros are solitary by nature that's why we are not able to see this animal and they are elusive animals that means they are not easy to find and these Himalayan zeros are herbivorous mammals and they are typically found at an altitude between around 2000 meters to 4000 meters altitudes so these Himalayan zeros are known to be found in the eastern central and western Himalayas but they are not in the trans Himalayan region so regarding the habitat of this Himalayan Ciro. So, the Himalayan Ciro can be found in the tropical rainforest and deciduous forest in Assam as well as the subtropical and temperate forest that means both the coniferous and broadly forest in Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. Now, let's see what are the threats and conservation status of this Himalayan Ciro. So, the main threat faced by the Himalayan Ciro's are habitat loss. Okay. And that also mainly through the jhum cultivation. Okay. Or the tree felling. Okay, so through the tree felling and through the jhum cultivation, they are mainly facing threat because their habitat is destroyed. And poaching for the meat is also an another threat for the Himalayan zeros. Okay, so they are hunted for the meat also. So since 1950s onwards, around 50% of the habitat of zeros was destroyed. Okay, so that much threat they are facing due to the habitat loss. And this zero is one of the most commonly hunted species in the barrel range. Okay, barrel range, we know that it is in mainly in the Assam region. Right. Now, regarding the conservation status or conservation measures, in India, this Himalayan Ciro is listed in the Schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. 
we know that schedule 1 is giving more protection for the species right so the himalayan zero is listed in the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 okay and it is also listed in the appendix 1 of the sites we know about sites it's a convention it's an international agreement right c i t e s so the himalayan zero is listed in the appendix 1 of the sites and earlier the iucn have categorized this zero as the near threatened category but right now the himalayan zero it is listed as the vulnerable category by the iucn so the sumatran zero or the mainland zero it is categorized as the vulnerable by the iucn red list threatened species category earlier i said that there are two subspecies found in india right the mainland zero or the himalayan zero and that is the vulnerable category the red zero is listed as the near threatened category okay so the himalayan zero is listed as vulnerable and the red zero is listed as near threatened in the iucn red list of threatened species okay now let's discuss why this sighting is an unusual one and what are the main region we can see this animal okay because sometimes upsc they will give some match pair question the animal and their respective uh, location or their respective protect area like national parks okay so why it is an unusual sighting in the Spiti Valley. Now, the Spiti region of Himalaya Pradesh, okay, it, it lies in the cold mountain desert regions of the western Himalaya, right. And the valley floor of the Spiti region of Himalaya Pradesh is having an average elevation of around 4,270 meter altitude, okay. And we said that they are found in between 2,000 to 4,000 meter altitude, right. So, zeros are generally not found in this altitude. That's why it was an unusual sighting. So, the official says that the spotted zero might have uh, strayed into the Spiti Valley from the nearby wireless entry. Nearby, we are having a wireless entry called as Rupi Baba wireless entry. Okay, so just remember this name Rupi Baba wireless entry. And you also need to know another national park called as Great Himalayan National Park in Kulu region because previously also the animal have been spotted in this Great Himalayan National Park and which was spotted through camera trapping. So, remember these two names, Great Himalayan National Park and Rupi Baba Wildlife Sanctuary, right. And also you need to remember another region, Chamba region. So, these are the regions you have to remember regarding Himalayan Zero, that means Great Himalayan National Park in Kulu region, Rupi Baba Wildlife Sanctuary, then Chamba region as well as Barad range, okay. So, that's all for today. Thank you.